Hello guys, my name is Stella and you're welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time, I've not done this in a while. So if this is your first time, please subscribe and hit the notification button to be able to see watch of my videos when I do post. Okay, so I have different topics for today. The first one is I want to talk about um all those people that know where they visit they visit all those wrong places where they go to see how to harm one person or the other how to do ails in the society how to fight whoever that is their rival or whoever that they deem that is their enemies and how to do all sorts of atrocities and you feel after doing that and they do vavam and you now turn a new leaf that everything goes away there are so many of you that you know you've done something to someone and the person is still suffering from what you've done and you turning a new leaf doesn't make it all go away the person is still suffering it so what do you then do when that happens there are so many things that when we do we cannot take back do you understand you will still be judged for that indefinitely irrespective of the fact that you've turned a new leaf all things have passed away and everything so we should be careful how we go about doing all sorts of things because we are not the creator we don't create life and we shouldn't take it so we should be careful and we because we don't create life you shouldn't harm any hair on someone else's because you don't have a right to you don't okay that's the topic first topic for today so what i'm saying out there is those people that go about doing all sorts of bad thing you better watch it you better watch it because some will do and do and do and feel okay at the end of it all or when they're on their deathbed or when maybe something happens to shake them they now decide okay let me just be doing the bad later i'll just you know, at the end, I will just give my life to Christ and everything goes away. No. You should, you cannot, you cannot mock God. You cannot mock God. Okay. Then my second topic of the day is about the babies. The homo baby. <laughs> okay. I want to talk about those people that when they are, they date someone, we ladies, we are always doing this because I know, the guys, they're always very careful with whom they post or who they put out there on the social media. But we ladies, we are very, we like, uh, we are the more emotional beings. So, then, when you date someone, don't always put out everything. There are some people, they put out pictures of them and those people, lovey-dovey pictures of them and those people, and all whatnot. So, maybe you go to their page and you'll be seeing pictures, one, two, video, one, two, three picture one two three four what happens are uh, assuming that relationship doesn't work out and you're in with another person in a new relationship do you still that means when someone goes to your page there will still different kinds of men on plastered all over her do you understand so what i'm saying is sometimes those people end up marrying someone else and you see so some of all those stupid girls they still have the people's pictures or videos on their pages so the only thing you would think you would do to make yourself look very respectable is deleting those pictures because from now those people are not yours. They are not yours. So those videos and all those things. The beautiful moments should be or memories should be in your head. It must not be for social media. You must not put it out there to make a point. I mean, when it comes to some relationships, apart from when maybe you have your family pictures you want to post or your own personal picture, okay? You cannot deny that. You, If you want to you show it to the world, you show it to the world. But when it comes to stuff like this, except that person is your husband. But if you're still in the process of dating one person to the other and all that, you mustn't dish all pictures and videos out there. For what now? Then tomorrow you break up with that person and start with another pet person and you carry the video and pictures and paste again. Are you using your senses at all? So if you're in this table, please 
Stop that. Drop it. It's not worth it. Whoever that you're doing it for, or whatever aim you have to put it out there, is not is not called for. I don't even understand. It's not. Okay. Then the third um, topic I have for today is it's still about the ladies because sometimes I do talk about the males, but I'm I'm mentioning the ladies more because ladies do th this a lot too. Some people. Um, some people will come, um, what was it called? Some people will, will go to visit their fiancé or boyfriend. Let me even use boyfriend because fiancé is all, almost like what to marry, getting married. Boyfriends. And you go to your boyfriend's house maybe this weekend and you're leaving and you drop stuffs. You drop things, easy bits, you know, so that whoever woman or whichever woman, woman that comes in, will know that you were there or you were that doesn't claim you're the owner of that man you're even you're even putting yourself at harm's way because at this time and now in this world that is filled with all the bad stories that we hear and you, some people will even are that stupid some girls are even that they will wear their panties and on this and they will drop it they will drop their clothes here and there they will leave their toothbrush leave their sponge leave whatever here and there for what when you come to visit your boyfriend you 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 move them with something as you're leaving take every pin i mean every pin especially when you're even seeing that every handwriting is written on the wall that okay this guy is a womanizer so why will you keep something that you don't even know who that's i don't know don't do that don't do that whatever reason okay apart from even bad people doing bad, th bad things to people it is not good okay it is not men don't do that there is no guy that will go to a girl's house and decide to okay i want to leave my a, a shaving stick there or they, they'll go with their stuff they put it in a knapsack they go they live with their stuff so why would ladies be doing all those shit? except he's yours Except he's married to you. Then all your properties are there. Then you have the right of every fucking thing. But you then, sister, when you come, pack everything and go. Okay? Then the last topic I have for today is... Um, okay, I want to talk about gifts. There are some people that bear gifts. But those gifts, gifts are supposed to... Of course, we know the meaning of... When a gift is given, it's supposed to be like filled with good tidings and whatnot, some wishes and good wishes. But there are some people that bear gifts that are, are not in disguise. They are meant to harm us. Okay? So what I'm saying to you out there, if you know you, you're not, you didn't do any, you've not done any bad thing to anybody and the person gives you gifts, I always implore people, speak over that gift, pray over that gift, so that but if there is any bad intent, meant while giving it it will not come near you it will not reach you and those of you out there that you do harm by indirectly you know like rats a rat will be biting now and be blowing breeze so you don't actually see the pain some people's gifts are that way you understand they come in the guise of okay this is a good thing but underneath it is a bad thing very bad thing so if you're out here and you're in that um, um, envelope or canopy of people that you go about giving bad stuff to people or yeah, your intent is not, your intent is not you portray as if you're good, but the intent is, is bad. Just watch it. Because if that person, the, the way the person, the more the person speaks over that gift that you gave, when the boomerangs will come, when it come, you'll be wondering, you wish your death to come, but it won't. You'll be wondering, where is this thing coming from? Who did I offend? You offended people. You offended someone. Do you understand? You don't do that. A gift should be a gift from your free heart. Not a gift that somebody, you're even give, giving somebody something, you're murmuring, you're filled with so much bad energy, so much bad intentions in your heart, no love for that person, and you're giving. Why? That's nothing. That's nothing. In fact, there's no way that God will even take it that you gave something out. When you give, like, when you give, it should be from your free heartedness, 
filled with love, with all smiles. If it doesn't make you feel happy within you, you're not actually doing the right thing. So that's what I have for today. I hope I've not talked for so long. And till next time, it's still your baby girl, Astella Martins E. Much love, everyone. And bye, bye. Have a nice day.